Hi, welcome to the Windows Server Tuning Cost Free. And today is day two. I wanted to show you how to install the IIS Internet Information Services with PowerShell on Windows Server 2016 Data Center. Okay, so now let's get started. I will open the Windows Server. Yeah, and this Windows Server I will install it on the virtual machine. Okay. And you can see here the Windows Server 2016 Data Center Evaluation. Okay, so now here, firstly, I will open the Internet Egg Browser. And I will type in the local hot for testing purpose. Hello. Yeah, so now you can see here, I cannot access the local hot on my PC. That means the Internet information services is not installed on this PC. Yes. Okay. So now here I will guide you how to install it. And today in this video I will be using the PowerShell. I will have I already have another video by guide you how to install the Internet information services on Windows Server over the graphic user interface. But today we use another way. Okay. Yeah. Let's get started now. Click on the start button and you type in PowerShell. Yeah. Right click on this one and select the run app administrator. Okay. And here you, you, you type in the command line install minus winner feature. Okay. Spy and minus name web space and web minus server okay and space minus include include minus the uh, tune here yeah. you are using the include management tune that means you want to be installed the uh, uh, internet information services with the graphic user interface on this server Okay, hit enter button on this keyboard. Here, it is collecting the data, and after that, it will install the Internet Information Services on the server. And basically, when we are using the Windows PowerShell feature here to install the the IS server, it will be faster than we use another way. Okay, so now let's wait. Let's wait the installation is done. Okay. And you see the success message on this screen. Okay. By default, after you install the IS server successfully on this PC, it will use the port default E80. Okay. So now here I will close this one. And I open back the Internet Browser and type in local hot. Here, so now here you can see after we tie in the local hot, we can see the default page of the Internet Information Services on this PC. Okay, that means for now you have to install the IIS server on this server successfully. Okay, I will open it in the Windows Drive. Yeah, you can see here after install the Internet information services on this PC, it will install a new folder. Name is INET pop. I will open this one. And here inside this folder, we have some the drive folder. And we have the www root folder here. This is the this is the default folder which contains the, the the web page for displaying on the Internet information services. So now here I go ahead to create a new a new um, file HTML for testing. Right click on this one, and I will create a new text file. Okay, I want to view the extension of this file. I click on view, and option change folder and shut. I open the view. Uncheck the high extension for node type file type. Okay, button here. Okay, 
So now here, I will change it to the test.html or you can test.htm Okay, I'll right click on this one and open it in the notepad for editing Hello, I'm Chien Welcome, welcome Thanks for watching my video. Okay. I will open the Internet Information Services. Type in localhost and slash tab.htm. Yeah. So now here, you can see the content in the tab.htm file here. Cool. I come back to update the text inside this one for testing. Bye bye. Refresh this page. Here, you can see here for now the new text. Bye bye has been added into the this page. Okay. So I think that's all for today and after you finish this video, you know how to install the Internet Information Services on the Windows Server or Data Center rather than 2016. Okay, I hope this video will have fun for you and let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later. Thank you for watching.